now, we're now going to do the uh, cranial nerve examination. There are 12 cranial nerves. Now, one has to go back to a bit of basic neuroanatomy before you approach the cranial nerves with any sort of uh, methodology. The first and second cranial nerves, the olfactory and the optic nerve, are slightly different in that their anatomy is, is different to the rest of them. Now, to go forward, one has to go backward, unfortunately. So I remind you first and foremost that the difference between an upper and a lower motor neuron lesion. An upper motor neuron lesion, for instance, to Dunica's leg, starts in his right motor cortex, as you will see in other parts of this uh, teaching session. It starts in his right motor cortex, will go to the coronal radiata, to the internal capsule, and then runs through the brain stem. And the key part of this is the brain stem. The brain stem is the midbrain, the pons, and the medulla. So the motor tract runs from the motor cortex on his right side, for example, to his left leg, through the coronal radiata, to the, through the internal capsule, through the midbrain, pons, medulla, crosses in the medulla, and runs down, down in the understandably named corticospinal tract down to the anterior horn cell. That's the upper motor neuron to his leg. Thus, if he has a lesion anywhere along that tract, his left leg will show increased tone, clonus, increased reflexes, and upgoing plantar. If, on the other hand, he's a lower motor neuron lesion from the anterior horn cell down to the leg, it'll be from the anterior horn cell where it gets out through the intervertebral foramen into the lumbosacral plexus, runs in the peripheral nerve, and stops at the neuromuscular junction. Now, any problem along there will lead to lower motor neuron signs, and that means there'll be wasting, circulations, loss of tone, loss of reflexes, and a flexor plantar. Now, the reason I put that in in terms of, in relation to the cranial nerves, is that the equivalent of the anterior horn cell in the motor tract for the cranial nerves are their nuclei. So, for example, the third nerve nucleus, the upper motor neuron, runs from the cortex down to its nucleus, which is in the midbrain. So you have to know the basic anatomy. So if you put one and two to one side, the third to, tw to twelfth cranial nerves run through the brainstem. So midbrain, pons, medulla. So the third nerve clearly will be in the midbrain, and the twelfth nerve will be in the medulla. So you can work out, in a rough guide at least, as to where the cranial nerve nuclei will be, and from there you can work out upper and lower motor neuron status, as you would for the, the limbs.